Hey, I'm Josh Freilich, and I'm here with Matt Addington today. And Matt reached out this week uh, and was asking a little bit about AR pistols. Obviously, there's a bunch going on in the U.S. today. We are at the last day of August here today, or close to it. And uh, the comment section uh, just closed with the ATF on pistol regs and all that stuff. So we're not going to give you any legal advice today. But I'm just going to share the AR configuration I like, why I like it. And today it's legal, 100%. This is legit. I can run with this and I'm squared away. But again, not legal advice. So anyway, first things first, let's talk about your application as it relates to AR pistols. Like, why do you want one? Yeah, I think, you know, mostly just, I mean, the times that we're living in are strange. And I think just to have uh, options, especially, I think, home defense, yeah. uh, something that is... It's compact, concealable. It's not bulky. It's something you can, you know, keep in a place that that is, uh, you know, it's discreet. And yeah. and I, you know, I like uh, the AR platform. I, I do a lot of varmint hunting and just you know shooting a little bit here and there, and it, and just kind of something that I was looking to add to the to the gun safe. So super cool. Okay, so from a defensive perspective, you had the same goals that I had when I built my gun. So when we talk through the configuration it will apply to your application. All of the same reasons I like this, you will like this, okay? So let's just talk through it. This is a JP AR-15 in 300 blackout. And we'll start from the front. I've got a suppressor on it. You wanna shoot a gun in the house? You want your ears ringing? You wanna be able to think the next 20 minutes? Put a suppressor on your gun, okay? Got a little flashlight on it. And I do happen to like this uh, up top because I hold a gun this way anyway. And so, for me, that works great. Some guys like a pressure switch. All of that's fine. It's a preference thing. I run a 10 and a half inch, 300 blackout barrel because the velocities on that when I run supersonic ammo are terrific. I could use this as a deer rifle. Mm -hmm. Like, no problem, kill a whitetail. Uh, clean harvest, ethical harvest, 300 blackout, supersonic is awesome. Uh, a couple of Vortex Razor 6 MOA dots. And I'll tell you why I do that. Okay, so I've got my primary dot. Yup. What about redundancy? Oh yeah, I've got another dot. Or let's say there's a wall right here. I could do this and I could shoot on my weak side. Uh, I could literally switch to my weak side or I could roll the gun and I could shoot around the corner. When I'm shooting one, two, three, four, five, six, that's faster than switching shoulders every time. Sure. And it works just about as well. Uh, I've got a really nice charging handle in there. You want a really nice charging handle in there, okay? So I've got the uh, JP, what is it? The Raptor, yeah. Super sweet charging handle. Low mass internals. I want the lower the mass, the better, as long as it's reliable. I don't run aluminum, I run steel. And so it's still reliable. It's got enough weight to operate. But the less mass you have in the gun, the softer it's gonna shoot and the less the dot's gonna move so you can run it hard. And then I got this Maxim Defense telescoping. It's not a stock, it's a brace, but it works out real well for up tight, super close. I mean, I got the charging handle in my nose. I like that for subs in the house. And then if I want to run supers, I've got a legit brace option that is gonna give me a good cheek weld. So really comfortable, really nice shooting. AR-15, hmm. yeah. Uh, suppressor, you know, you started down here. Yeah. Um, different sizes. I mean, if you're talking about compactability, mm -hmm. do you recommend this? Is this an eight inch, did you say? Yeah, or? it's legit, it's big. Um, you know, so I think perfect world, I'd probably run something about half his size. I mean, again, we're talking about compact. You want to swing it around yeah. stuff in the hallways, in the house, yep. uh, smaller the better. Sure. Yeah. And again, I mean, the decibel rating, the difference between 128 and 131, like when you're looking at things is actually a lot because yeah. like it's it's multiple multiples of yeah. the volume versus yeah. one more notch. One more it's notch, yeah. it's kind of weird it's if not, you're not going on the clicks. <laughs> yeah. um, but you, you want something reasonably quiet. This one's aluminum. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's really, really light. So you don't notice it when you're swinging it. I like that. Um, Stealth Project suppressors can. So then I run coupled mags. And these coupled mags are, it's the T-Mag option from Taylor Freelance. And it allows me to put two 300 blackout mag pull mags together. I, you can run two 23 mags. The nose drags on the front. Hmm. Can give you potential reliability issues. I run 300 blackout mags, they're, they're 13 bucks. Yep. Just get them. 
And then I'll run Federal 220 grain American Eagle Subsonics in the house. And then I run Fusion. So Fusion, the hunting round, it's 150 grain for anything out to 300. <laughs> yeah. I'll send yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, you know, if you're in a defensive situation and you got a couple mags, maybe you got one mag that's subs, one mag that's supers. In the house, I start with the subs. If I'm going through 30 rounds of subs in my house, it's a bad the day. Might be, the story <laughs> might be over at that point. The story better be over. But yeah, uh, so that's the rig, man. The other thing that, that the compactability, the suppressor, the subsonics, I, I would imagine I'm thinking of, you know, my wife or yeah. somebody that's not as confident or not as, you know, comfortable with the big, the big bang of a gun. This is probably something that fits you, that pretty well. You got it. The more noise you take away, the more recoil you take away, the more a new or novice shooter is going to be comfortable shooting the platform. And again, you're shooting it in a house, potentially as a defensive AR pistol, you're shooting it in the house. Like if you've shot from enclosed quarters, even with ears on, you know, it's brutal. Put a new shooter in that situation that doesn't shoot much. They pick it up because they need it and they shoot once and miss. And now their ears are ringing. Intimidated. Yeah. Dude, they might be in trouble. Yeah. So like put a can on it, yeah. shoot subs. In the house, it's 220 grain American Eagle. That's like a 45 to 30 grain uh, projectile, except uh, this stuff has got, uh, you know, it's got a better profile on the barrel or on the bullet. So it's gonna fly a little straighter, but you're shooting 45 at them. Yeah. Like that's a great house gun is a 45. I mean, big old bullet, I don't even run them. I run nines, but like, that's a lot of lead flying in that direction at a thousand feet per second. Right. It's legit. Wanna shoot it? Let's shoot it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Send it, you got a mag full, let's go. Those were the subs on it. Well, let's run some super subs. First two were super, second two were subs. 300 blackout, JP AR-15 pistol. <laughs> 